I just saw a cyber truck. No matter what, that is always going to be an eyesore. So what's up guys? I'm going to vlog on the go because I sincerely do not have time for much today. But I just want to tell you guys what kind of day I had today because it was just extraordinary and when stuff like that happens, I like to just journal about it. Well, my day started off a little odd. I had my first two customer interactions back to back were not very pleasant. The reason they weren't is because one of them, I was walking toward customer service and there was someone at the counter. I'm saying, hey, how's it go? Like I couldn't even get very far. And this person was like, I got this to return. Is it here? And I'm like, sure customer service and that's me I made it as awkward as possible but it's because I had to like recover from how shit the interaction had begun I should be used to it by now people not saying hi and just spitting out what they want to say at me but in the end I still want to respect the education I received and actually have manners and demonstrate them then the lady behind him, same thing. I was like, hey, how are, and she was like, I'm here to pick up a case of water that they're holding for me in the back. And I'm like, sure, what is the name? Uh, they didn't ask for the name, but they probably spelled it wrong anyway. When I asked her what is her name, I was already browsing at my clipboard for order reservations. And I couldn't find her name. And that's when I said, could you spell it for me? And then she spelled it, which is exactly the spelling I thought she had for it anyway. And then once again, she said, yeah, they probably didn't get it right. And I'm like, your name is so basic. It's hard to get wrong. It's in the Johnson family. I don't want to use the exact name, but you know how some last names end in son? Well, this is, imagine some really basic name and at the end of it, attach the word son. How can you fuck up that spelling? So anyway, there was that interaction. And then I told her, uh, give me a moment so I can consult them back there to see if they know what we're looking for because I'm not finding you here but don't worry we have a solution in place for situations like this and then she was like I mean I just called and they told me they had it at that point I'm just ignoring her because I don't understand the people who do not wait to be addressed to have something inquired about them if I need further information from you, I will ask. If I'm not asking for your phone number, if I'm not asking for your name, if I'm not asking for any extra details, just shut up. Because 100% of the time, the information you're getting ready to supply is not helpful. And I dare to say 100% of the time, because in the past, when someone else is assisting me, and I'm considering telling them extra details, it turns out they did not fucking need it because it's as if they know what they're doing. They know how to do their job. And that's why they are at this spot, manning this station because they're perfectly qualified to do it. But no, you just wanna run your fucking mouth. If you're really this good at this job, where's your application? So that you can be onboarded and you can train me on how to do my own fucking job. That was my second interaction. And then since I was running customer service today, I had someone at self-checkout and someone as cashier. And both of them simultaneously pretty much came up to me one after the other saying, um, I don't know why, but it's only been half an hour into the shift, but we've really been having some rude people and I'm like oh you guys too it's not just me thanks for telling me that because for a moment I thought I was being the asshole even though I'm just being polite like I have been since I learned what politeness is 
then I was in the area with my cashier so I said oh, let me hang out here so that I can give presents to my colleagues and then there was some really really nice old lady customer that I'm like this is what I mean about the extremes with the older customer. Sometimes they're super, super, super nice and sweet, the best you can have, but other times they're the saltiest that you can have. But this lady, not only did she acknowledge the cashier, of course, but as she got closer to me, I greeted her first, especially since I'm pretty comfortable with her. And she was like, oh, good morning to you. It's so nice to see you. Thank you for telling me good morning and for asking me how I'm doing. That was the other part. She said, how are you today? I feel humanized. And she was like, oh no, what's going on? I have never heard something like that coming from you before. Are you having a rough morning? And I'm like, it's just attitudinally. I don't know what is going on with people, but it's only been half an hour into our shift and we have had three rude people like uh my self-checkout person also said they had someone rude my cashier said they had someone rude to me the first two customers i interacted with were rude one after the other so i just combined them into one so basically that's four known cases of rudeness and i'm like it's only like barely half an hour of daylight out and y'all are acting like this why i don't understand i really do not understand during the course of the day people were really 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 absent-minded leaving things behind which happens every day but today the incidence of it was just a higher and the interactions sucked because sometimes i would ask a customer for it's ready for you to pay the remainder and they're like what do you mean the remainder and i'm like oh well your card only paid a hundred dollars out of your 450 dollar bill -uh, there should be more money in there i don't know about people's finances i don't know if you all have multiple credit cards if you have multiple debit accounts or what it is that you do with food stamps but I really do not know if people are in very, very terrible financial shape because when a card declines like that, I just wonder how it is that you're not on top of your finances. Like I said before in that one video I made about a month, two months ago, talking about the denial process reaction thing that y'all do when your card declines. Like, did you really not keep track of your finances? Or did the grocery store break the news to you that it is real, it's happening, you don't have money? Because the computer, when it declines, the code that it keeps giving me, it's insufficient funds, insufficient funds, insufficient funds. Insufficient funds means you lack money, meaning the amount in your account is less than what your bill is. Are you genuinely that broke? And when you run another card that pays your bill, is that a credit card? Or what is going on? Is this really a representation of how bad the economy is and how truly broke people are? Or are you just like irresponsible and you do have the money but you don't have your account up to date to reflect that. I really would like to know. I'm not trying to be a bully. I'm not mocking anyone's financial situations. Like, I know I'm not doing super great myself. But I just want to know how it is that this happens every day, multiple times. And I remember a time when I could go an entire shift without incidents like this. So I just want to understand where people's, uh, I guess, absent-mindedness comes from, unawareness. I don't know. But I thought I would share that with you guys because to me, it was just really intense. It's just getting worse and worse every day and I just can't go without thinking about it and reflecting on it.